In the golden haze of bygone years, a flicker of black and white on the screen brought forth a world of dust and hooves, echoing with the rhythm of a wild, untamed frontier. It was the year 1959 when television's enchanting embrace birthed the iconic series, Rawhide. Picture yourself in those moments, a time machine of nostalgia propelling you back to that very first encounter. Perhaps you were perched on a well-worn couch, or maybe you caught a glimpse on a lazy Sunday afternoon, captivated by the sprawling landscapes and the rhythmic jingle of spurs. Remember those characters that leaped out of the screen and into your heart. The stalwart Gil Favor, the trail-wise Rowdy Yates, and a whole band of cowhands that seemed to breathe life into each episode. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the campfires crackled, and the challenges of the trail unfolded before your eyes. Each moment, an opportunity to reflect on your own journey, your own encounters with adversity and triumph. But let us not merely dance on the surface of memory. Let's delve into the depths, the hidden nooks of trivia that make Rawhide an even richer tapestry. Did you know that Clint Eastwood's indelible presence as Rowdy Yates was his launch pad to stardom? Or that the iconic theme song, like a siren's call, lured you into the world of cattle drives and camaraderie? These anecdotes are the threads that weave into the fabric of your connection with the show, making it more than just entertainment. It's a part of your story. So, as we journey through the corridors of time, let's unveil these captivating threads that bind you to Rawhide. Let's unearth those random facts that infuse the show with deeper meaning, rendering it timeless in the annals of television history. A journey that will make you smile, nod in recognition, and perhaps even spark a renewed desire to revisit those episodes that sparked your imagination. And now, dear reader, as we embark on this voyage of discovery, remember those evenings spent with eyes glued to the screen, the echoes of hooves and the windswept planes etching themselves into your soul. Let the tapestry of Rawhide unfurl before you once more, and may you find delight in the gems of trivia that illuminate this beloved classic. It's time to walk the trail again, this time with a fresh perspective and a heart full of memories. Clint Eastwood's age-defying role, Rawhide's time warp star when the iconic TV series Rawhide trotted onto the small screen in 1959. It was Clint Eastwood's steely gaze and rugged charm that captured the hearts of viewers. However, a little-known quirk of the show's casting has come to light, revealing a fascinating twist in the portrayal of the young trail boss Rowdy Yates. Clint Eastwood, the man who would later become a Hollywood legend, was a spry 28 years old when he first stepped into Rowdy's boots. Yet, his character was scripted to be a mere 19, creating an intriguing age discrepancy that went unnoticed by many fans. This time-warping casting choice added a layer of complexity to Rowdy's character as he navigated the challenges of cattle herding with a maturity that defied his supposed years. But it's not just the age gap that has sparked curiosity over the years. The show's recent DVD releases have taken a deliberate turn, thrusting Clint Eastwood's image into the limelight, overshadowing even the titular star, Eric Fleming. The decision to prominently feature Eastwood is a testament to his meteoric rise to fame after Rawhide, a phenomenon that has cemented his status as a cinematic icon. While Eric Fleming held the reins as the show's lead, it's undeniable that Clint Eastwood's indelible charisma and magnetic presence played a significant role in the show's enduring popularity. This intriguing blend of casting choices, age-defying performances, and a nod to the future superstar has transformed Rawhide into a timeless relic of television history. In the annals of television trivia, the age anomaly of Rawhide stands as a testament to the show's ability to capture the imagination of audiences and launch the careers of its stars. As we reflect on the Western classic that left an indelible mark on the landscape of television, let us not forget the age-defying magic that brought Rowdy Yates to life. Clint Eastwood's iconic connection, the shared gun and boots from spaghetti westerns to Rawhide and the sprawling landscape of television's yesteryears. The 1959 series Rawhide galloped onto screens, bringing with it the rugged charm of the Wild West. Amidst the cattle drives and campfires, a young Clint Eastwood stood tall, his presence not only marked by his iconic gaze, but by a subtle yet fascinating link to his later cinematic triumphs. Clad in the familiar boots and gripping the same gun that would later echo through the spaghetti western classics like a fistful of dollars. For a few dollars more, and the good, the bad, and the ugly, Eastwood's portrayal of Rowdy Yates on Rawhide carried a touch of foreshadowing. 
The resonance extended even to his portrayal in the acclaimed Unforgiven, where those boots made a poignant reappearance. Yet, a linguistic quirk played its part in the show's legacy. The character of the Mexican Wrangler, known as Jesus on screen, concealed a delicate balance between authenticity and sensitivity. The name's true spelling, Jesus, hung in the air, bearing a pronunciation mirroring its English counterpart. A subtle move, it safeguarded against potential outrage, elegantly navigating the complexities of cultural representation. As the seasons of Rawhide rode on, the echoes of Eastwood's boots grew faint, eventually replaced by other tales of the frontier. Still, the series remains a testament to the interconnected threads of Hollywood history, where a pair of boots and the grip of a gun could transcend time and genre, anchoring a young actor's journey from TV corral to cinematic glory. And thus, the enigmatic Clint Eastwood left his mark, imprinting the legacy of Rawhide not only through his resolute portrayal but through a tangible connection that bridged the gap between small and silver screens. Rawhide's forgotten European stint, the curious tale of the magnificent stranger in the annals of television history. 1,959 seconds Rawhide has secured its place as a Western classic, galloping its way into the hearts of viewers across America. But hidden amidst the sagebrush and cattle drives lies a little-known chapter that thrust the show's star, Clint Eastwood, into an unexpected cinematic spotlight across the Atlantic. By the mid-1960s, Clint Eastwood's rugged charisma was already carving a niche in European cinema, thanks to his iconic collaborations with director Sergio Leone. With a growing continental fanbase, the producers of Rawhide seized an opportunity to leverage Eastwood's rising fame. They hastily stitched together two episodes, Incident of the Running Man and the Backshooter, interweaving additional footage, and unveiled it as the magnificent stranger in Europe. The promotional machinery word to life, casting Eastwood as the central draw. Italy, 1966, and West Germany, 1967, witnessed the film's theatrical debut, a clever strategy, except for one glaring detail. Eastwood was oblivious to the entire endeavor. When the star caught wind of this transatlantic cinematic transplant, his displeasure spoke volumes. Swift legal action ensued, unfurling a cease and desist order, effectively shackling the film's distribution wings. The celluloid offering was yanked from screens, ensnared in legal quagmire, relegated to a single blink in time. Unhappy with the splicing of his cowboy adventures, Eastwood's intervention underscored his growing clout. The once nascent actor had matured into an influential figure who could reshape the trajectory of his own legacy. Today, the European escapade of the magnificent stranger remains an enigma, a fleeting moment suspended between continents and cultures. As of 2022, the film's reels languish in obscurity, sheltered from the march of time, a relic of an audacious attempt to meld TV and cinema, etching a footnote in Clint Eastwood's storied journey. Rawhide's storied run may have come to an end, but its legacy lingers in tales like this, a testament to the unanticipated twists that unfurl in the captivating realm where Hollywood and history converge. Clint Eastwood and George Kennedy, renowned for their roles in Thunderbolt and Lightfoot, and the Iger Sanction, once graced the small screen in a television gem from 1959, Rawhide. This iconic Western series transported viewers back to the heart of the Missouri to Texas cattle drives of the 1,700 seconds and 1,800 seconds, capturing the rugged essence of a bygone era. Rawhide, a staple of American television, not only showcased Eastwood and Kennedy's early talents, but also left an indelible mark on pop culture. The show's theme, a melodic testament to the Old West, found its way into a cinematic classic, The Blues Brothers, reverberating through time. As the sun set on the frontier, Rawhide blazed its own trail, bridging the gap between historical authenticity and entertainment. A testament to the enduring appeal of Western lore, the series galloped into the hearts of viewers, immortalizing an era long past. Rawhide's legacy continues to resonate, a testament to the power of television to capture the spirit of the past. So, the next time you find yourself humming to the tune of Rawhide or enjoying Clint Eastwood's cinematic prowess, remember that it all began on the small screen, in a TV series that journeyed along the trails of history. Engaging, enduring, and emblematic of an era, Rawhide remains a timeless tribute to the American frontier, etched into the annals of television history.
Incident of the Death Dancer, a glimpse into Rawhide's star-studded episode in a captivating turn of events. The 1959 TV series Rawhide showcased a star-studded episode titled Incident of the Death Dancer that left audiences enthralled. Airing on December 5, 1963, this installment featured the talents of Dick York, who would later achieve fame on the hit show Bewitched, and the enchanting Barbara Eden. The duo portrayed a cunning grifter couple whose on-screen chemistry foreshadowed their future successes. Barbara Eden, in particular, stole the spotlight with her mesmerizing performance of the Dance of the Opium Den. Clad in an alluring outfit that would later reappear in the 1965 TV sensation I Dream of Jeannie, Ms. Eden's sultry dance left an indelible mark on the minds of viewers. Her ability to seamlessly transition from one iconic role to another only solidified her status as a versatile actress of her time. This tantalizing episode not only showcased the early talents of two future television legends, but also hinted at the allure and charisma that would define their careers. Incident of the Death Dancer remains a remarkable testament to the captivating nature of Rawhide's storytelling prowess, bridging the gap between two beloved TV classics. As the years have passed, this episode's significance has not waned. It serves as a historical crossroads where stars aligned and future paths were paved. A legacy of Incident of the Death Dancer continues to captivate audiences, reminding us of the serendipitous moments that shaped the tapestry of television history. And now, an intriguing tidbit surfaces. The theme of Rawhide has a surprising connection to another iconic entertainment moment. The resounding notes of Rawhide's theme song echoed in the Blues Brothers, further solidifying the show's impact on popular culture. A simple tune that once accompanied cattle drives on screen has now transcended its origins to become an enduring melody that bridges generations. In retrospect, Rawhide's incident of the Death Dancer stands as a testament to the power of television to bring stars together, elevate careers, and etch memorable moments into the annals of entertainment. The magic of that episode, the dance, and the legacy of the series itself continue to resonate. A reminder of the golden age of television and the stars that lit up the screen. As we ride off into the sunset of our rawhide journey, I invite you to pause and reflect on the trails you've traversed with Rowdy Yates and his fellow drovers. The crackling campfires, the rhythmic clatter of hooves, and the echoes of those iconic cowboy ballads have woven themselves into the fabric of television history. Rawhide wasn't just a show, it was a frontier of emotions, a corral of memories, a place where the Wild West met the human heart. As you wander through the sepia-toned landscapes of your mind, think about the moments that made you laugh, the scenes that made you root for the underdogs, and the characters whose rugged charisma left an indelible mark. Was it the camaraderie of the cattle drive or the tension of facing the unknown that resonated with you most? Maybe it was the cowboy wisdom dispensed by Gil Favor that struck a chord, or perhaps it was the sheer grit of the cowhands that fueled your admiration. Now, it's your turn to lasso those reminiscences and share them with fellow travelers. Whether it's a cherished memory, a forgotten gem, or a new perspective on Rawhide, your voice adds another layer to the rich tapestry of this classic series. Join the campfire circle of fans who have laughed cried, and cheered alongside our cowpoke companions. So, saddle up your thoughts and ride them over to the comments section. Let's rustle up a conversation as vast as the prairie sky, and as warm as a well-cooked chuckwagon meal. Thank you for journeying through the rugged plains of nostalgia with us. Until we meet again, remember, the spirit of rawhide lives on in every dusty footprint of your memories. Ride on, storytellers, and keep those tales rolling like the thundering hooves of a thousand longhorns. Together, we honor the legacy of rawhide in the vast expanse of the digital frontier. Yours in the spirit of the Old West, your name and that's a wrap, partner. Wrangling words and memories.